Students, in my previous video lectures, I have discussed feminism, ecofeminism, black feminism, and so on. But today, we want to discuss gyno criticism. This term was actually given by Ellen Sowalter. Ellen Sowalter is an important critic, important feminist writer of this century and when she published her essay towards a feminist poetics which was published in 1979 there she has used the term gyno critics for a special group of critics who are working on female literature on women's literature so gyno criticism is actually a comprehensive a deep focused study of women's writing okay now this uh, alan showalter she respect she had deep respect and deep sympathy with mary wollstonecraft remember this name because i have already discussed about mary wollstonecraft's contribution in the in the field of feminism she has been considered as the mother of feminism okay she also had respect for virginia woolf and all other 20, 19th and 20th century female writers okay now ellen showalter was specialized in victorian literature she did much research on uh, the women writers of victorian literature uh, and also the women writers writing during the 20th century what is gyno criticism gyno criticism refers to a form of feminist literary criticism it is a different branch of literary criticism which is mainly concerned with the study of women writers in english literature okay actually uh, ellen showalter wanted to develop some new models based on the study of female experience rather than to adapt to the male models okay you see some male authors male critics study the female authors this is one model because males have their own point of view while studying the female authors but you know ellen showalter carved a special niche Uh, in the annals of literature and literary criticism she believed that we need a special model a new model to study the female authors and this model must be headed by the female critics okay so that was the basic idea so she gave the idea of female literary canon canon is what canon is a weapon okay which is used to fight uh, in the war okay so showalter has tried to uh, create a new form of female literary canon to fight against the oddities in literature okay she wanted to study and bring into the light of various women writers who have been forgotten under the dominance of western canon which is dominated by patriarchy okay so in literature also in criticism also there are two you can see the war like situation right on the one hand we have some male critics who are studying female authors but they have a different approach on the other hand ellen showalter created a new ground a new army of writers or critics who were female authors and they tried tried to understand the female authors so that's why it is called a female literary canon okay her main aim or motto was to discover all great writers uh who are female writers and they, and she tried to understand their importance in the male dominant literature you see most of the authors are males right among all these most of the male authors 
there are few female authors who are mostly neglected and ignored by the critics so she wanted to bring these female writers to light to the world okay she did much research to find out the contribution of the female writers in the development of literature now according to showalter you know there are three main phases in women writing okay and these three phases are uh, the first one is feminine second one is feminist and the third one is female now what is the first stage or the first phase which is entitled as feminine phase the feminine phase the period is about 1840s to 1880s okay in which uh, the bronte sisters charlotte bronte emily bronte george eliot they were the major female writers writing literature during this victorian age okay uh, uh, but during this victorian age these female writers were mostly not taken seriously so their voice was even not heard by the people by the critics during the first phase which is known as feminine phase second phase is known as feminist phase okay here during this period women's writing has evolved into a sort of separateness from the male writing it is during this period this period is what from 1880s to 1920s means towards the end of the victorian era and the beginning of the modern age during this period you you see that feminist identity is found in rebellion in revolution against the patriarchal authority okay so here you see find you you find a neck to neck competition between the female writers and the male writers during the second stage first stage most of the female writers were not taken seriously not uh, they were mostly ignored or neglected but it is during the second phase feminist phase that you know we find that women's autonomy is established in literature major writers of this period uh, were virginia woolf okay doris lessing gertrude stein and so many others the third phase is female phase it, in this third phase you know it is very important and it's a it is believed that it is a turning point of feminist literature here the writers are not much interested in revolting against male writers okay female writers they wanted to in during this third phase uh, the female writers they wanted to establish their own identity not in competition to the male writers okay so a new uh, approach towards society towards literature was uh, adopted by the female writers where they did not see themselves in competition with the male writers okay so they wanted to create their own identity as authors as writers so the major writers of this phase are margaret atwood mina alexander maya angelou and so many others now the last important point that i want to make before i end this video is what who are the major which are the major gyno critical texts if you want some more information on gyno criticism you should read these four authors patricia mayers peck ellen mors Ellen Showalter and Sandra Gilbert and Susan uh, Gubar so these four writers have uh, expressed their views on gyno criticism so if you want some more detail you can read them i hope this uh, video is helpful to you please do share it among uh, your friends and classmates thank you for watching thank you